If you're looking to create a glass effect in Canva, then stick around as I break down the whole process in this beginner tutorial. Let's get started. For this video, I'll be using a custom Canva project to better illustrate how to achieve this look, but you can use the same process for just about any Canva project you're currently working on. So first things first, I'm gonna wanna blur my whole canvas. Now I could group everything together and then use a blur effect, but that doesn't work all the time. So what I do is I export the whole canvas as a PNG or JPEG. To do that, just go to Share, Download, and select the correct page, then Download. Once downloaded, come back into Canva and select on Upload Media. Locate the file on your device and add it to your canvas. Then resize the image by selecting any of the four handles and just make it about the same size as your canvas. If you make it as large as your canvas, Canva will think you want to add it to the background. Then things get kind of weird. So again, don't enlarge the image all the way. Once you have that resized, you're gonna to wanna to blur the image by coming to Edit Image, Adjust, and then Blur. Then we're gonna to wanna to blur it to around 35%, but this is up to you, so have at it. With that image blurred, I'm gonna add in the frame by coming to Elements, then searching Frame, and then I'll choose this one. Now I'm gonna select our blurred image and just click and drag it into our frame. Then I'm going to double click inside the frame to adjust the image size. Now you can size the image to around the size of your canvas again. Just play around with it until you have something that looks good. Now I'm going to add a slight highlight to give this element some depth. To do that, we first need to duplicate our frame. Simply click on the frame and click on this duplicate icon. Then come to your toolbar and select elements. From there, come to your search bar and search white gradient. Then click on this one. Then like we did previously, we're going to click and drag it into our frame. Next, I'll adjust the rotation of the highlight so it's not so harsh, and I'll also lower the opacity. To do that, come to Transparency and lower it to about 20%. That's starting to come together really nice, but let's take it to the next level by adding in some noise. To add a noise texture, come to your toolbar and click on Elements. Then, search for Sand. Next, click on this image here, and with it selected, come to Edit Image. Then Filter, and click on Street. Then come back to your adjustments and slide brightness all the way to the left and slide the contrast to around 52%. Now select your top frame and copy and paste it. Then select and drag the texture into that frame. All that's left to do is lower the opacity. To do that, come to the top and select transparency. Then set it to around 7% or mess around with it until you have something you like. Last but not least, we want to add a nice outline around the whole frame. And you think Canva would allow you to add a simple outline, but you would be wrong. I would say I spent around two hours trying different techniques to see how I could add a simple outline, but with no luck. So really, this is the only place I cheated as I created an outline for this specific project with another program. So you can just download the project file for this video in the description down below, or you can look for an outline that would work for your project. After that, I just added in some simple copy to my glass, but feel free to go balls to the wall crazy on your next project. Just remember to keep designing and enjoy the process. <laughs> <laughs>